Afternoon, folks. Uh, welcome to uh, Steve's Fruit. Is it Caster? Um, someone did ask me about a firecracker. I've looked back on my YouTube and I can't find the message, but somebody, or notification, but someone did ask me for a firecracker some time ago. But we've been busy and whatnot. I haven't done one for a while, so I'm going to do a firecracker. And then after this one, I'll be doing a tuppenny chance, which is its 2p counterpart, if you like. Although my tuppenny chance is actually converted from a, a gamblet, which I've yet to see a gamblet. But a gamblet is basically a 5p firecracker, I think. I've seen a picture. I have seen a picture of gamblet, but I've not seen the actual machine. I'm not sure if one exists. Or just waiting for one to turn up somewhere. You never know. If one turns up, it might come to me. <clears throat> but you never know. Not that I haven't got enough machines. But normally, if they're not working or whatever, I, I normally end up with some involvement. Right, I know a few of you know the real order and whatnot. We can only go up or down as we know. We'll try down. I think that's very far, did it? Yeah, full fat. 10p, 10p token for a two pound jackpot. On a CPU tech, but still running old fashioned electromechanical reels. That makes these machines have their own appeal. As if you like, if you like to sort of argue the toss about, and these are slightly more intelligent than the electrical mechanicals, of course, with slightly more going on, but still having the charm, if you like. Instant payouts as well. Nice bright glass, some reels on this one. One of the better condition ones. A lot of these are poor when they turn up after years being in damp storage and whatnot. Once you've held, you can't change your mind. But you can gamble. <laughs> Depending depends on what mood it's in. Basically, up to a pound is cash, over a pound is tokens.
Hmm. I'll try that again. Five nudges, so no jackpot. Hmm. Never far away either. Oh, you got to keep a like ten p ago. You got to keep slinging them in. As you can hear the tubes fall. It's definitely <coughs> stepping back in the past, isn't it? If you played these kind of machines, you've got to be 50 years old, I reckon. Jesus, can't get any money out of this today. That would have been a good gamble. Good mother of nudges. <laughs> Gotta pay some it soon, isn't it? We we'll have no money left. Two on the third wheel. Alright, we'll go up. <laughs> oh, we won't. <laughs>
Hey, that's that. Here's your tokens. <clears throat> <laughs> every lamp, every little switch, everything works on here is perfect. And these are just a basic nudge machine, nudge up, all down. I guess for a few of us these were the start. Always worth hold on the bells. <laughs> the bell fruits. Uh, 40p for four, we'll go for it on the up. <laughs> Won't fire away either. Two, five, six nudges. That's just unlucky. There you go. I mean, I get that these are kind of not as exciting as that, but as MPS or MPU freeze or whatever, but I don't know, I like them.
the light you play. That's reasonable, isn't it? Fell out the tube. <laughs> Damn it, then. There you go, <clears throat> that's your firecracker. Unfortunately, uh, doesn't come with any attract mode. But there you go, that's your bell fruit, a bell fruit original firecracker. Uh, next up will be the, uh, the Leisure Games rebuild. See you in a bit. <laughs> 